outside of Xted. I'm so excited for this restaurant. Uh, I did no research on it on purpose. I know it's a very hard restaurant to get into in town, and uh, the reason I want to go, it's only grilling. There's no uh, electricity, there's no gas, only wood heat. I have a 4.30 reservation. Yeah, it's 4.30 in the afternoon. Last for life is like up in uh, Sweden in the wintertime. This restaurant I'm very excited for. So it should be a pretty epic meal. over time this is the first thing I'm gonna eat in this meal and it was epic so fermented corn and the uh, scallop skirts if I remember correctly and none of this is written down so my memory's a bit foggy but what he's pouring on right now the fermented it basically made a garum from the skirts of the scallops so like almost like a, a Vietnamese fish sauce but from from skirts of scallops which is genius like it's big flavor from stuff that a lot of people are gonna throw out all right, this was like a beignet, sort of kind of donut thing made with wild garlic and that, that row, this local row, that it's so intense, it's so good, I loved it. It was on everything. Quite expensive as well, it's not, it's not super cheap. Excellent little smoked uh, porky little number here. I don't remember what was in the middle, I apologize, none of this stuff was written down and I do not remember, apologies. This, this scallop was awesome. Like it was just seasoned brined, of course, but then shucked right on the coals and it's just barely cooked and it's so, so tasty. And I think that was with a salsa fee and foam and, and some caviar. Excellent, loved it. And we have our flambadou station here. So your next course flambadou. is Flambadou. So we're gonna grab this one. Flambadou is an Asian technique. So I have a cast iron that is around maybe 500 degrees. Yeah. I have some beef fat and I'm gonna melt it. And I'm gonna put your oyster with it. Wow. So if you are burning hot coming to it. So really nice color on the outside, nice temperature on the inside. With a nice beefy flavor. Yeah. This dish was great. Like from front to back, the flambadou thing with the smoked pork fat on the oyster, put it back in the shell. The uh, pine flour was epic. Like just with a beurre blanc, like how can you go wrong? So, so tasty. Yeah, and then uh, once that was finished, obviously they cleaned the, uh, the shell out with this beautiful, beautiful, I think it was an orange wine, I don't remember. Oh, this was so good. I mean, this is just right up my alley. This is sourdough bread with fermented sep broth on top of butter. Like, it is right. This is perfect. I loved it. This dish was the only dish I didn't really like. And they called it a Swede 
And I was like, okay, you know, whatever. I love vegetarian stuff. And then kind of find out after knowing that I didn't like it when I had it, <laughs> it's turnip. And I'm just not a fan of turnips. No. But the whole dish, the composition was awesome. This menu is rife with fermentation. It's so fun. It's so good. Fermented asparagus uh, uh, juice, as she says. And then also, like, the, the, the use of smoke and all these menu items is incredible. It's so subtle. It's so subtle. And then, uh, yeah, it, I loved it. Everything about this dish was perfect. I loved it. The, uh, and, and funny enough, like, the blood pudding in this dish was the only thing that was actually smoky as the level of smoke that we're accustomed to. Every other smoke was so subtle, just just a nuance and a, and a layer of flavor, a component and not an overpowering thing. Uh, epic dish, loved it. Blood pudding. Yes, please. This was a uh, additional cheese course, and it was just almost like a perfect raclette sort of amazing dish. It was, uh, I loved it. I, even looking at it now, I'm so hungry. I, I want to scarf it up. This was unreal. A sep souffle. It was so good. This ice cream, everything. It was such a fun, sweet, savory combination. And I should always do voiceovers when I'm hungry because I'm so much more enthusiastic about it. I want to eat all this stuff again. Can't recommend this place enough. Loved it. Hell yeah. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I don't remember what all of these were. Just little sweet treats at the end of the meal. Mignardis, some places call it, but basically the opposite of a canapé. At the end of the meal, little tasty treats to, uh, to put you over the top and be happy about the check you're about to pay. <laughs> Wow, what an um, incredible meal. Uh, met some new friends behind me. We're gonna go to a, quite a famous cocktail bar and uh, I can't recommend this place enough. That was really, really fun. I hope you liked the video. I couldn't do comments as I was eating. It just wasn't the right vibe to do that. Everyone was nice enough to put up with my shit to begin with, but yeah, to do like, well, nah, nah, I couldn't do it. I uh, hope you liked the video anyway.